All right, here we're back with Tabata number two. We have four new Tabatas, that's four new moves, and it's a workout done in 20 minutes. So this workout, for this workout, you're going to need a mat, dumbbells, kettlebell if you have it, and then make sure you have your Tabata timer or your interval timer ready to rock. You're gonna set your timer for four Tabatas, um, that is 16 minutes, and then add in rest 30 seconds to one minute between Tabatas, just depending on your level of fitness. The um, four moves in this Tabata are going to be a dumbbell deadlift, a kettlebell swing, a lunge pass, down on the ground and we'll do um, some ab work, we'll do a reverse punch or a leg lift, depending on your level of fitness. So, for the first move, let's talk about the deadlift. Um, I'm going to use two eight pound dumbbells for this move. Uh, you want to make sure with this that your feet are right underneath your hips, your knees are slightly bent, your back is nice and long. This one is, when you're setting yourself up, I want it to be like you're showing off what you got. So it's chest through your shoulders popped out and then your tailbone up in the air. So it's chest out, butt up. You're going to tip forward, stretching the back of the hamstrings, back nice and strong, my butt pushing back towards the wall, focus down on the ground, and then as you stand up, you're pushing the hips forward. Knees stay in one position, so you're not bending the knees, it's not a squat, it's a deadlift. Put your knees, lock, lock your knees into this soft bend and hold it. The movement happens at the hips, so it's butt goes back. Weight slower down, back nice and flat, and then butt goes forward, tucking it under. That's your deadlift. Next move is a kettlebell swing. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can do the move with dumbbells, but it's worth the investment um, to go out and get kettlebells. If you're just starting out, a 10, 15 pound kettlebell right around there is great. I'm gonna use a 25 pound kettlebell for the swing, um, but if, like I said, if you're just starting out, a 10 to 15 pound kettlebell is perfect. Okay, before we grab the kettlebell, let's set you up into position for the swing. It's a squat position, that's feet right underneath your shoulders and toes slightly angled out. For this move, it is a slight squatting motion and also a hip thrust. That's the basic move, is that hip thrust move, and it's kind of like that deadlift that we just set up. All that movement comes from the hips. Don't try to lift the kettlebell with your arms. Your arms are just along for the ride. They're just guiding the kettlebell. The movement comes from your hips. So it's another hip thrust movement. So it's butt goes back, kettlebell's gonna come through your legs, and then hips go forward. And the faster and stronger that you snap the hips, the higher the kettlebell will fly away from you. So grab the kettlebell on either end here and let the kettlebell swing between your legs and snap the hips back and front. Make sure your weight stays in your heels. There may be a tendency to let the weight come towards your toes, but then you're gonna be doing the movement all wrong. You won't be feeling it in your butt like you want to. So remember the swing is a hip and core movement. You should be feeling this in the core and in the butt. Weight stays in the heels. If you don't have a kettlebell, use your dumbbell. You're just gonna interlock your fingers around the dumbbell and squeeze it with your palms. Let it swing between your legs. You just wanna make sure you're using a heavy enough dumbbell that it's effective. Okay, third move is a lunge pass through. I'm gonna use my kettlebell for this. Okay, so I'm gonna hold the kettlebell with my right hand, lunge with my left foot to start, passing the kettlebell from my left hand to my right hand underneath my left leg. Looks like this, lunge, pass through, step back, alternate sides. Lunge, pass through, step back. You can do it with a dumbbell if you want. Final move happens down on the ground, it's ab work. Level one, we'll do a reverse crunch. Knee at 90 degree, and the knee at a 90 degree angle. You're just gonna roll your hips towards your shoulders. Good, level two, Put your hands underneath your hips, legs straight in the air, lowering, lowering a straight leg to the ground, nice flat back, and then popping the hips up at the top. Remember when you lower down, not to arch your back here. Back stays nice and flat by rotating the hips up and engaging that lower ab here. Level three is hands go above the head. 
Lowering the legs nice and straight, and then popping the hips at the top. Okay, that's it. That's Tabata Tuesday number two. Remember, it all happens really fast. It's 20 minutes of work, so go all-out effort for four minutes. <laughs>